my name is Ben and I'm today here again with Francois from Production Music Live and today we check how we start a song. So it's all about creating new ideas in a short period of time and yeah, just to make something from scratch. Uh, so how do you usually start a track? I always like to start with a melodic element. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look into your um, sample library. I like this one. So the beat algorithm really makes some weird things, so I turn it into Complex Pro. I really like it, but it could be a little bit too busy. Maybe also chopping it a bit, mm -hmm. this one here. This sounds good, maybe over here. So we have one loop here. Maybe this one as well. Do the same rhythm as well here. Now we need more of these. So I duplicate it. Same with this one. So this could, could do a good line. I like it, but we maybe modify it a bit with pitching it. That sounds nice. Maybe a compression to make it more flat. something from Tim Engelhardt. I already know these. That's a cool sound. Perfect. <laughs> What's the next element you usually put in? Are you starting with drums now or bass? I would uh, probably look for a better sound, something instead of the piano. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're the diva. Maybe the diva? <laughs> Maybe the okay. diva. Let's have a look. So this could be a very warm and rich pit pad. Not that bad. Make those notes legato. Mm. using sustain here, so I put it away. So I also need that upper note here, the D, otherwise... Maybe an LFO here to bring more life to it. Mm -hmm. 
Some feedback. That's a very nice sounding pad. Okay, let's hear it together with the other stuff. And something to support this melody would be good. Mm -hmm. So let's continue. I just made, I consolidate this track here. Mm -hmm. So I have this whole new chopped sample as one sample. And let's check it out how it is if we turn it into melody. Melody, yeah. yeah. Let's check it out how it is with the harmony. That's a nice approach. So if something comes out of this, uh, what kind of sound are we looking for now? Also a diva sound for a lead or something? or uh, Something to support this organic melody. Mm -hmm. So it could be a layer. Mm -hmm. um, also with the um, Apeggio vibe. So I don't like the lower ones. Some notes are wrong. Yeah. fix a bit more quantization maybe but it's a kind of unnecessary layer, even if it sounds all right. And if you just use it uh, from time to time, so as a plug only coming in here and there, you don't play it all the time yeah. over the uh, you know, organic sample. Yeah, it's actually nice when it's not playing together. Yeah, yeah when it's doing like this kind of, at the beginning it's yeah. a bit there and then goes down and comes back. I would, so, yeah. I would already have put in a bass drum for a long time, but you told me before that you kind of like composing with all the instrument elements first and then yeah. later putting in the bass drum. Yeah, usually I would now continue with getting a higher pad to support mm -hmm. everything and the drums maybe to a later point. But if you want, we can bring in a bass drum. Well, just what, whatever you want, man. Uh, if there's a higher pad available already and an idea in your mind, let's oh, go yeah, for that. Oh, maybe in the idea. pad, yeah. We tried this one. It's difficult because there's this chord change which makes it difficult yeah, to, yeah. for one element to stay at one note. Yeah. This could maybe work. some movements. Maybe even an octave down.
like it. But we need to say something like a like a hook, like a main theme, like a main synth. Uh, this one is not strong enough. I like this. Choose the right sound, might be. Probably need something very short, so mm -hmm. I'll take this diva. Maybe even the same delay here. Six in bars here. Right. Let's um, put in a bass drum to make you happy. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, a bass drum. So, how do you do them? I always take kick one. I really like oh, this one. Well. Let's. Perfect. So, that's my go-to preset, net two and the drum and bass area. Of course, super aggressive, but once you bring down the transient. So, also this one. Uh, I'm not taking care of the perfect mixing of the bass drum right now. Now mm. it's just about sound and not um, mm -hmm. getting lost in the thoughts of mixing something together. Yeah, getting stuck because you're doing too much work on that one right now. But a kick also needs a side chain. So let's bring in this. Also, this is probably super nice when it's side chained. some more drums to make it a bit more fast now. So let's have a look here, Casper towards snare loops off. Really like this clap. Oh, I like this one. When we take up the rest. And this previous hit also fits good with this mm -hmm. kind of swing groove of the. We maybe gate it a little bit. Ah, but it's very reverbish. So. Oh yeah.
this could work for mm -hmm. this. Nothing much has to happen, so maybe just this bit. That's a good start. Absolutely, you have a like a, that's a full-blown song idea right there, right? That's the moment where I also save it. So maybe mm -hmm. let's save it. You have a good trick title idea. <laughs> Gösa? Gösa. That's a wonderful title. Okay. Felix, do you think this is a vocal track? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so That's let's. Good. Yeah, it's needs uh, a proper topic and theme, and yeah. I think a vocal would make the job pretty good. Sure. Let's yeah. try. Yeah, let's do that. If you want, we can jam on the piano and on the vocal first, yeah. or you can jam something on top on that. So I think we need to set up a microphone, right? Right. Let's yeah. quickly do that. I have a wonderful guest here again. Please welcome Felix. We've made uh, so many tracks together and we haven't seen him in such a long time. And we were meeting us on a beer today, so he just uh, joined. And uh, yeah, now we make some music together. Yeah, let's try. Um, I uh, already heard that you made up a very nice instrumental. And I, yeah, try to sing along with some random lyrics I wrote. And yeah, let's go. Let's go, yeah. Let's go. What do you want to start with? Just with the harmonics or with the, um, should I leave on the drums? Um, yeah, just maybe just the harmonics and then just bring in the kick and, and all the other stuff, right. step by step. Okay, this is how a song can be started. Uh, I think we collected many different ideas in a very short period of time. Um, next step would be to arrange it and maybe to collect some more ideas. And uh, yeah, but basically this is it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, maybe you learned something. See you soon. <laughs>